Hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, uh, where I mark a former scuba diving instructor and general dive professional uh, to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any questions about the scuba diving industry, equipment, whatever it is, uh, pop it down in the comment section underneath this video uh, and then I'll do my best to, uh, to respond to it as soon as possible. Uh, the community as well does like to uh, respond to comments. Uh, so if you do see a unanswered question uh, down in the below or even an answered question and you have an idea uh, by all means start a conversation in the in the comment section it's what it's there for uh, today I'm answering a question from Dennis about scuba diving regulators So Dennis says, hi Mark, so I'm nearly done with my open water course, congratulations. Uh, I'm in the market for a first regulator and want good stuff. There are a gazillion regulators out there, most of them being sold for more than a decade without changes. I'm leaning towards an Atomic ST1. I like these stainless and since they all breathe the same, I will not go for the T3 version, which is too expensive. Do you agree that the ST1 is still after a decade one of the best regulators out there or do you have better options for me? So it's an old adage, but if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, Atomic Aquatics, don't subscribe to the yearly change of the equipment roster. Um, some manufacturers, uh, they like, oh, now it's 2023, we're gonna have to bring out the, the 2023 version. For things like wetsuits, uh, it tends to be a bit easier. They just add like an extra flash um, just to make it the next year's version. Um, regulators, it's a matter of sometimes they'll, they'll change it every three to five years or something. You tend to get a, um, you get some regulators and then they're like, right, we've had enough of that design. It's done well, but here's the new and improved version. Um, the, the mark something one number higher. Um, most regulators, yeah, they, they see like two or three years and the manufacturer decides to redesign or replace and there's a heck of a lot of work that goes into not only designing a new regulator but building the parts that actually build the parts that go into a new regulator so if a manufacturer can find a design that not only works but sells they're going to run with it for as long as possible um i mean a prime example is the uh, the mares Avanti Quattro fins um, that people love them to bits, and the actual molds that they um, that they stamp the the fins into they're they're the same molds that they made whenever they first designed that fin, and they're kind of worried that if that breaks, what are they going to do? Because actually making the molds is pretty expensive. Um, and as long as people be, keep buying them, they're just going to keep running it uh, until they literally break the mold. But as far as regulators go, yeah, ST1 regulator, lovely, lovely regulator. Um, I mean, the, the T3, the main benefits of um, of the ST1 um, or the or the T3 over the ST1 is that it's titanium, so it's a lot lighter. Doesn't do quite as well in cold water, so it's more of a traveling warm water regulator. The T3 is. ST1 because it's steel, uh, it's better for colder waters, uh, but no, it's got a lot of very nice features. Atomic make really nice equipment and their regulators are like really up there as like premium nice regulators. So long as you can get it serviced nearby. Um, oh, that's another benefit of the, uh, the T3 is that the ST1, I'll confirm it down here um, if I'm right or wrong, but ST1, I believe, has a two-year service interval, uh, whereas the T3 has a three-year service interval. I know T3 does have a service interval of, of three years or 300 dives. Um, I think the ST1 is only two years, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, it's been a while since I looked at the, uh, the service schedules, but yeah, really nice regulator. Uh, it is a, a little bit heavier, but we're talking about grams. As far as like colder water performance, better. Um, and does the ST1 have the swivel turret still? 
or is it fixed? I can't remember. Uh, again, I'll put it down here um, either way. Um, but no, as long as you can get it serviced uh, nearby without having to ship off your regulator uh, anywhere too far, um, then yeah, I, I can always easily recommend uh, Atomic Aquatics. They do make really, really nice regulators, nice smooth breathing regulators. And I wouldn't worry that the design hadn't changed in 10 years. There are uh, like uh, Tom, uh, Apex ATX regulators, Atomic, uh, it's true, Apex, I think have been like, not willing to, but kind of considering retiring the ATX for a fair amount of time now, uh, but people still want it and uh, and dive it. So uh, Apex still make it. They've got the, the newer, uh, like XTX range and the XTX range have gone through a few generations um, but no people still like the ATX so Apex still make the ATX it's it really is down to what sells um, and obviously what works uh, but no just because it's a, an older design as long as they still make it I, I wouldn't worry that it's a an older design it, it it's like the great white shark hasn't needed to evolve in however many hundreds of thousands of years uh, because it, its design works. And the same with regulators. As long as it works, they're still going to make it because the, the alternate is to take a very popular regulator off of the market, put, or oh, they'll probably do this first, but they'll, they'll put a lot of time and money and effort into creating a new design and then all of that has to go off to be uh, to be CE tested, ANSI tested, and all that kind of stuff, and then put it on the market. Whereas they've got this regulator here that has all of this amazing marketing that's already been out there, all the amazing reviews and everything. So now when they're putting a new contender on the market that doesn't have any of that, um, and hopefully that will sell, even though it may technically be a little bit better than that one. Um, hey. But no, I wouldn't worry about a an older design. Uh, and yeah, Atomic Aquatics, the ST1, very trustworthy uh, regulator. Yeah, just make sure that you can get it serviced somewhere nearby. Yeah, you see a lot of professional divers with Atomic regulators. Uh, they've got a lot of clever bells and whistles on the inside and the design is very, very premium. Um, they use good materials as well, which is always nice to see. And the servicing schedule is always a, a selling point because most people only really see the, um, uh, the upfront capital costs of investing in the regulator. They don't think too much about the servicing costs. And if you have a one year, 100 dive service interval, uh, or if you're a professional diver and you have to get it serviced every six months or something, um, then those costs quickly rack up. Whereas if you get like a T3, then it's once every three years. So it just makes your life a little bit, uh, bit cheaper in the long run. Uh, ST1, I believe at the moment it's two years. I could be wrong, but I'll put it down here again if I'm, if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, it's still better than a, a one year 100 dive. But as far as performance, yeah, it's hard to fault Atomic. Uh, they, they do make very nice regulators and uh, and the little um, clever features like their, uh, I can't remember what they call it, but the um, automatic Venturi switch, I want to say it's at AFC or something, um, that's nice because it automatically interrupts the free flow. You don't have to change a little flippy thing. Um, and the I think ST1 comes with a ball swivel joint as well, which is quite nice. Um, it does limit which replacement hoses you can fit. So that's something worth noting. Um, you can't just take the swivel joint off and then just fit any um, seconds uh, regulator hose onto it. I don't think it has a standard thread. Uh, again, if I'm wrong, I'll put it down here. It used to be the case, especially with the, uh, the ball joint. Um, but that being said, it is a really nice regulator. Um, so yeah, a, a good investment, especially if it's your first ever regulator. Um, any other questions, 
by all means put it down in the comment section underneath this video uh, use the ask hashtag to get your question featured in an up and coming video uh, and whilst you're here if you do see any questions down underneath this video that are unanswered or you do know the answer to uh, by all means chime in underneath um, Remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Check out the latest news and reviews of the scuba diving industry. And uh, yeah, remember to share and uh, subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.